Hello, I'm Dr. Billy Crow, Professor of Nematology at University of Florida. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to collect a nematode sample from a golf course putting green for mist extraction of nematodes from turf plugs. So most of our nematodes that affect turf grasses live out in the soil. However, there are some nematodes, particularly root knot nematodes, infect roots and spend most of their time inside. As a consequence, soil numbers really don't make a good diagnostic sample for those, these types of nematodes. So at University of Florida, we've developed a new sampling and extraction procedure, particularly for these root knot nematodes. When we're extracting nematodes from soil, we use thresholds based upon nematodes per 100 cubic centimeters of soil. However, when we're doing mist extraction from turf plugs, we're doing nematodes per four inch and a half diameter turf plug. As a consequence, it's important that we use plugs that are inch and a half diameter. Fortunately, ball mark pluggers, which are used on most golf courses, are an inch and a half in diameter. So these are what we're gonna to use to collect these nematode samples for mist extraction. So the characteristic symptom we found associated with these root knot nematodes on putting greens is this blotching or modeling type symptom like you're seeing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ball mark plugger and I'm gonna take four turf plugs from these symptomatic areas to use for my sample. Okay, so here are four plugs that we took with our ball mark plugger. In the lab, we're gonna wash the soil off of these samples because, again, we're not extracting nematodes from soil, we're extracting them from roots. So we'll wash the soil off, we'll, we'll have the turf plug with the adhering roots and some of the thatch. We're gonna put these four samples in a funnel in this mist chamber, and nematode eggs hatch from these roots Little nematode crawls out and they crawl through a filter and drop into a flask where we catch them. So we're using nematodes per four turf plugs. Now if you don't have a, a ball mark plugger that's exactly an inch and a half diameter, that's okay as long as you use a device that's bigger and not smaller. For example, some of you may want to send us samples from a cup cutter, okay? Now we don't want to take four plugs from this one cup, but we would take four cups and then we would knock the soil off because you don't want to pay to be shipping a bunch of soil and we're not extracting nematodes from soil. We're extracting them from these roots, okay? In the lab we have an inch and a half diameter cookie cutter that we then use to cut out our inch and a half diameter plug. So it's okay if the samples are bigger than an inch and a half diameter but they can't be smaller than an inch and a half diameter.